understand. But then when we know who God is, He's there to give us hope when things are down. Amen. The song says, There will be mountains that I will have to climb, and there will be battles that I will have to fight. But victory or defeat is up to you to decide. But how can I do anything if I don't even try? I just can't give up now. I've come too far from where I started
Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for having me today. Amen. Amen. Let's just continue in that uh, flow of, of worship. Let's just continue in that flow of worship here in the house. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Let all my worship, yes. let all my praise flow.
praise of the Lord mm -hmm. this morning on what to share in, in uh, uh, my strong uh, psalmist, Emmanuel. Would you continue to, just to play softly, please? Just softly. Amen. Um, <clears throat> and I was praying, I was saying, Lord, what would you have us to share today? And he gave me one word. <clears throat> and I may not even be 30 minutes. Bishop. You know what that word is? Commitment. Amen. 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 There is no marriage that can survive without commitment. There's not a relationship that can survive without commitment. Amen. You have to have commitment when, when you're working a job. You're making a commitment. Yes, I will work this job. I will be there at a particular time. I will be committed to, uh, to whatever the task is on that job. You have to be committed as a mother with nurturing your children, taking care of your homes. You have to be committed as a father, amen, to take that leadership role in the household. You have to be committed as a husband you have to be committed as a wife. Yes, children, even you have to learn to be committed. There are people all over the world that are in and out of commitments. They're in and out of contracts, in and out of agreements and disagreements. But there's one commitment that you want to make in your life. And that's a commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I want to take your Bibles and I want you to turn to Matthew 10. Because we're just going to worship a little bit here as we commemorate, amen, uh, the marriage of these two beautiful people here. Matthew chapter 10. And I'm going to begin with verse 37. Commitment. That's the word that we released into the atmosphere of this house. Commitment. Begin to release that. Because it's what you say. When you release things out, there is power in your word. Amen. So begin to release that. Commitment. Commitment. You got to open your mouth and begin to say that. Release it in the atmosphere of the house. Commitment. 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 Turn to your neighbor. Say commitment. 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 Find someone else. Say commitment. Commitment. We release the word in the house. Commitment. We release it in the house now. Commitment. Commitment. And begin to say, I am committed. I am committed. I am committed. Amen. Savior Jesus Christ. I am committed to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Release it out now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Matthew 10 beginning with verse 37. Everyone's there? Alright. Anyone who loves his father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Wow. Anyone who loves his son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And anyone who does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. He who receives you receives me, and he who receives me receives the one who sent me. Anyone who receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. Amen. And anyone who receives a righteous man because he is a righteous man will receive a righteous man reward. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones because he is my disciple, I will tell you the truth. He will certainly not lose his reward. Amen. But I want to go back up to verses 37 through 38 where it says anyone who, and you'll keep finding that, 
anyone who, is there any anyone who in this house today? Yes. Today I believe God wants us to do a self-examination, like a checkup of our commitment. And sometimes we find ourselves, even as believers, that we're not as committed to the cause of Christ as we may verbally say with our mouths. Or we'll say, yes, I'm committed to the church, but we don't find your presence here on Sunday morning or on Bible study night or when we have conferences going on. And yet we say we're committed. And many times we will make excuses and we'll make other things so much more important and so much greater than our commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ himself. We will say, yes, I'm committed to the house. But when it's time to pray and time to fast, we say, oh, you know, um, today is a day that I need to celebrate. So I need to eat. I can't set aside time to fast. Or uh, my schedule's a little tight today. I can't permit myself to entertain prayer. But yet we say we are committed. We say that uh, when we're called to come and to do the work outside of the walls of this house and to go into the, the, the cities and on the streets and compel the lost to come in. But we say, oh, you know, that's not my cup of tea. I'm a little bit shy about that. But yet, we say we are committed. And I believe that there is a time that's coming vastly upon us when we will give in responsibility to our time. And have we appropriated our time to the commitment and the cause of Jesus Christ? The Bible tells us uh, in, 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 in God's word, it says to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added unto us. But we want all these things and we want all these things without the commitment First, to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We want commitment, amen, from, from those that are engaged with their girlfriends or their boyfriends. And we say, I want a commitment from you. And we give more commitment to that relationship than we do to our relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We have more commitment to our education, and nothing's wrong with that. It's good. But we give more commitment to that than we do to our commitment with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We forget that it is the air of him that we breathe. It is he that has given us light to shine forth in darkness. It is he when we're weak, that makes us strong. It is he that when we're sick, that makes us healed. It is he that when we're impoverished, that gives us wealth and riches. But yet are we committed to him? Is he first in our lives? If a relationship is ever going to prosper and thrive and grow, there has to be a commitment to the Lord. He has, he has to be your Savior, but he has to be your Lord also. Are you committed to him as Savior, the one that has redeemed you? Are you committed to him as Lord and Savior? Is your body committed to the Lord? It's the temple of the Holy Spirit. And we use it. It's our reasonable service of worship. But is the body committed to the Lord Jesus Christ? 
When you leave this house, we look wonderful here today. But when we go outside these doors, are we still committed to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Or do we go out and we engage in the things of the world? And when we're out there, out there it's hard to tell who's Christ. Because the world overshadows so much. Have we denied him? Have we tossed him aside? And that's his question to us today. That's his question to this couple today. Will you be committed to the Lord first? As a man of God, as someone's son, as someone's brother, to be someone's husband, are you committed? And to hey, I. That's the question today. Will you be committed as someone's daughter, someone's aunt, you know, someone to be his wife? Can you be committed? Because if you can't be committed to God first, how can you be committed to each other? If we, as the body of Christ, here at World Vision, if we cannot be committed to God first, how can we be committed to each other as brothers and as sisters? Because when one is ailing and one is failing and one is weak and one is worn and one is cast down, the commitment says, hey, I'm with you Amen. in this relationship. Yes. It, it means, it, can, I, can I borrow you for just a second, my sister? She's tired this morning, okay? She's working, so she's tired. And the weight of, of, of everything, you know? And so, but yet she's committed, she's here. And she's worshiping God. But as her sister, I can grab hold of her. And I say, we're committed to God. Amen. And I'm going to walk with you. I'm going to hold you up. I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to cover you. I'm going to love you. I'm going to respect you. Amen. I'm going to protect you. Amen. Whatever I have, it's yours. Why? I'm committed to our relationship. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. He's wanting that. This house is called to thrive. This place is too small for the vision. Amen. It's too small for the vision. The vision is great. The vision is enormous. But it's taking commitment to God first. And then commitment as a house. It means when things aren't going so well, you're still committed. When things are going well, you're committed. Amen. When it's down, you're committed. When it's up, you're committed. When you get angry with her, you're still committed. Hallelujah. When you get angry with him, you're still committed. He he puts the glasses in the cupboard, uh, uh, bottom bottom down. You like them bottom up, but you're still committed. He's an early riser. You like to sleep late, but you're still committed. And you have to believe that no weapon formed against you, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. This is part of our heritage as the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus because we are committed. There, there are those of you in the house today you know that you have not been committed. And it's like you're under a Holy Ghost arrest right now. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's not that you are being condemned 
as much as being convicted. You're here, you thought you came for a win, and you did. Because there's not only a marriage between these two beautiful people here that are occurring, there's a marriage that needs to take place between you and the lover of your soul, Lord Jesus. And he's looking for a bride that's committed to him as their Lord and Savior. He won't cheat you. He won't run out on you. He won't hurt you. He won't deny you. He's only wanted to do some good, wonderful, and marvelous things in your life because he is committed to you. Commitment. Hallelujah. Let that word begin to resonate on the inside of your heart. When you leave these doors today, you leave these doors as a committed man, woman, boy, or girl to the Lord Jesus. Amen. You leave committed to the vision and the cause of, of, of World Vision International. You leave committed, amen, to the man and woman of God who will not leave you who will not forsake you. Why? Because Jesus reigns on the inside of them. The Spirit of God is on the inside of them. And because they are committed to Christ, it sort of trickles down. Amen? This whole marriage thing is not just what we see in the physical, but it's also a supernatural thing as well. Our lives are not our own anymore. We're connected. Amen. And we're waiting for our bridegroom. Yes. I'll tell you a story, and I'm about to sit down after we worship. I, for, for, for so long, have been crying out to the Lord, and I've been emptying myself before him. And I had three different visions about a wedding. The first one, I was dressed in a beautiful white gown. Oh, it was beautiful. I had a beautiful headdress. There were flowers like I've never seen in the earth before. And, and, and the colors were brilliant. And there was a gold goblet that the, the flowers were placed in. And I saw myself moving down the aisle. But then I had to stop because I said I cannot get married. And it troubled me and I cried and I cried in the dream and I cried. And I, the, 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 the issue was that I said I gotta talk to, I, I was actually saying I gotta, I gotta explain this to my husband. Why I, why I can't get married? Listen, you'll understand where I'm going with this. And in the dream proceeded, and I remember being across from him at a table explaining why I had to get married. And it wasn't a physical thing, but it was because my Lord was calling me to a place in him, and I had to give commitment to him in totality. I had another dream. I'm moving down the aisle and I'm adorned in this beautiful white gown. And as I, as I was coming down the aisle, there was a presence of apostles and prophets and evangelists and pastors and teachers as I moved down the aisle. And I remember standing just like this standing there waiting on my bridegroom because I had made a commitment spiritually to the Lord. The third series was I was adorned in a beautiful white gown once again. And on the outside, I saw people out there dressed differently in everyday clothing. And I thought, I said, 
wow. I said, they must really be comfortable in those clothes. And I looked at the garments that I had on, but I didn't want that. And I remember just taking a seat, waiting for my bridegroom. Because I knew he was coming, and I had made a commitment to him. World vision, the spirit of God is calling you now. He's calling his bride now. And he's calling you out of the chaos of the world. He's calling you out of all the dilemmas. And he said, hey, I want you. Amen. You're my bride. Amen. And he's calling you. He says, I want a commitment from you. So that when I come, you're without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. And so as you see, the involvement of the man and woman of God in today. That's what he's sending you together. You're two, but you're about to be one. Amen. It's a mystery, but it happens. You are about to become one. And one standing before your king of kings and lord of lords, awaiting him. But while you're waiting, you've made a commitment to him. And you've made a commitment to each other that you will not be tainted by anything of the outside, but remain pure and holy and righteous to the Lord. And he's also calling that for those of us that are here. He's calling you to a place with him. He's saying, come. Come, bride. I want you. Yes, come spend time with me. Make that commitment with me. I have a covenant that I've made with you that I will never ever forsake or break. So he's saying, won't you make a covenant with me? Stand to your feet. Glory be to God. And you know that your commitment is not where it needs to be. Don't move. Don't look to your left or your right. He's talking to you. And he's saying, I want you. He's saying, I love you. He's saying, I paid the ultimate dowry for you. I paid my life for you. That's how valuable you are to me. I paid my life for you because I love you. I give myself.
come because I love you. Come. He says, I am not forsaking you. He says, come. It's okay. Hallelujah. He's saying, don't listen to what the enemy is telling you. Get her 
Oh yeah, that's fine. Then I'll officially hand over to the mic, please. Take some steps. Oh, bless you. So. Yeah, you made a good time with me. Thank you. He wants to divorce and we want to remove the ring. <laughs> Nobody else. <laughs> are you following me? Yes. So if I cannot pull the ring, me, there's no way I can divorce. Amen. You are marrying for life. Are you ready for this? Yes. You are not make, I know you have a marriage contract. <laughs> I don't sign contracts. Yeah. Are you ready for life? Yes. Until Christ comes. Yes. Or that to us, Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you for the It's time for us to take it serious and make some vows. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let me start with uh, the groom. Francis, I need a, a, a microphone here, please. <laughs> Sorry, this obstruction. Red Toyota Corolla is blocking way. I don't know. No number, nothing. So that should be the last one. So if you block somebody's car, look to Red Toyota, please, and play the way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, Francis Akama Ajimo. Do you take Hega Zele? to be your lawful wedded wife as your own flesh to be uh, to be your only <laughs> the first and the last a wife and will you love her as I will yes I will Not yes, I will means all other girls. It's too late. Really. So you have been praying for that man of God. It's late. Change your prayer request. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, Hega is the way Kane. You take Francis Akama Njibo as your lawful wedded husband. Will you submit yourself unto him as unto the Lord, showing reverence to him as the head of the family all the days of your life? If so, answer with a loud yes, I will. Yes, I will. Hallelujah. Hey, man. Hey, let me see my children out here. It's too late for you. <laughs> All the prayer partners, intercessor partners, and all those partners, it did not, it did not, it did not, it did not work fast. <laughs> Sorry. That guy is gone today. It's time for you to make your vows now. I'd like you to um, 
Just separate your hand on me a moment, please, and stand face face each other. I'd like you to be able to. Can you, can you see that face? Are you sure to make the bow for that? Okay. So let's begin, please. Um, hallelujah. Come with come close to the ring, but not just alone, please. Amen. <coughs> hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's start with. Uh, so you repeat after me, Francis. You repeat after me. Okay. okay. I, Francis Akama Ajimo. I, Francis Akama Ajimo. You took it, you look at it. Look at it. I, Francis Akama Ajimo. I, Francis Akama Ajimo. I leave my father and my mother. I leave my father and my mother. And I join myself to you. And I join myself to you. Hega Nzele Ekane. Hega Nzele Ekane. And I vow before heaven and before earth. And I vow before heaven and before earth. And before this congregation. And before this congregation. To be your lawful wedded husband. To be your lawful wedded husband. I will love, care, and protect you. I will love, care, and protect you. No fighting. No fighting. <laughs> no abuses. No abuses. No quarreling. No quarreling. No, no absenting from church. <laughs> no, abs <laughs> no absenting from church. No backsliding from Christ. No backslid backsliding from Christ. You don't marry in Christ and after two months the man is drinking somewhere. That's right. You don't do that yet. Amen. Amen. I will love and care and protect you. I will love and care and protect you. To add all the changing. Throughout all the changing circumstances of life, circumstances of life, from this moment, from this moment, and forevermore, and forevermore, I promise to make your life better. I promise to make your life better. Hallelujah. Can you see your last night again? The eyes and say that promise again. I promise. I promise to make your life better. To make your life better. <laughs> okay, I Hega Zele Ekane. I Hega Zele Ekane. According to the word of God. According to the word of God. I leave my father and mother. I leave my father and mother. And I join myself to you. And I join myself to you. Francis Akama Ajimo. Francis Akama Ajimo. To be your lawful wedded wife. To be your lawful wedded wife. I will love. I will love. Care. Care. And submit to you. And submit to you. To add all the changing. To add all the changing. Circumstances of life. Circumstances of life. I love you with all my heart. I love you with all my heart. I'll make your life sweeter. I'll make your life sweeter. Than honey. I'll make your life sweeter. Honey, I'll make your life sweeter. Give the Lord a good clap of the Lord. Amen. Now, do you have anything to seal your vows? You have some rings? Hallelujah. You pick up all the things you pick up. I bestow to you my honor, my honor, 
and all my possessions. And all my possessions. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. Of the Son. Of the Son. Of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> receive your name. I receive your name. I receive your possession. I receive your possession. I mean all your possession. I mean all your possessions. I bestow unto you. I bestow unto you. My due affection. My due affection. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. Of the Son. Of the Son. Of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I'm standing here as God's ambassador, as God's servant, to declare Francis Akama and Hega Zele, husband and wife. What God has joined together, God will not put us Hallelujah. Amen. Before they go into kissing and show us how they will let's 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 rise on this one. Amen. Just begin to release the blessing. Just release the blessing. Bless them. Just bless them. Just bless them. Just bless them. Bless them. All the blessings. For your throne of grace and we thank you for the husband and the wife we thank you for joining them together we declare over them Lord that they are strong in the Lord and in the power of your might we declare over them almighty God that you satisfy them with long life almighty God we declare over them that you are the Lord who is their shepherd therefore they will not throughout the endurance of their marriage Lord be in want or need we declare over them almighty God that you are their light and their salvation whom shall that they fear almighty God we declare over them that they are the strong and not the weak we declare over them that they're the rich and not the poor we declare over them almighty God that you will bless them as they go out bless them as they come in we declare over them almighty God that they will rise up and they will give you glory we declare over them almighty God that the foundation of their home Lord, will be love their wall will be filled with love the covering over them will be love almighty God we thank you almighty in the body of Christ. We declare the kingdom of God to come and reign and rule in their marriage as a husband, as a wife, in the name of Jesus. We speak the blessings of the Lord over them. We bless the fruit of their womb. We call their children in, Lord, one by one. And we say, Lord, that their sons and daughters will be a blessing to the body of Christ. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you for this wonderful union that we are standing with the angels in heaven to witness this day. Father, we want to declare that, Lord, they will be blessed in their own house. They will be blessed in their coming in. The words of their mouth will be blessed. The fruit of their labor will be blessed. Whatever they touch their hands to do will be blessed. 
Wherever they tread their feet upon, that is a blessing and a possession of theirs in the name of Jesus. Father, let the fruit of their womb be blessed in this land and in every land that they go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is saying to you, because you love me, I will honor you. Yes. I put my honor upon your life. Yes. And I'll make your name great. Yes. I will show you my glory. Yes. My spirit will increase upon your life. Yes. I will raise him up. You will reach nations. Yes. You are my chosen servant. Yes. And I put my presence upon your family. No enemy will succeed against you. I know your fears. I know your worries. I am your peace. I will show you that I love you. So I sit here and see the salvation, says the Lord. But I give you thanks as we bless Francis. And Lord Hagar is alive today. Let the glory of God rest upon your mouth. Yes. Let his faithfulness be seen upon you. Yes. Let God rest upon you and make you a mother of nations. Kind of bullshit is something. They are knowing God in peace upon their lives. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Father, let your blessing rest on the mighty. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Push. Lord, bless the marriage of children. Bless the, mar the marriage of the ministry that will touch nations. Praise them of their glory. Put honor on their life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Gentlemen, let me help us all, ladies and gentlemen. And gentlemen, let us join the Lord and give God a glory. Amen. Before we collect our offerings for them, I want to bless them with offerings. Amen. Amen. So, before the offering, let me give you five minutes. Family members, just dance, come on. I mean, oh, one or please. Oh, amen. Yeah, then give them two minutes to show us how they will enjoy their marriage with a good kiss. <laughs> and then after that, they have a wedding cake to cut. Yeah, amen. Yeah, yeah. Then after the kiss, we'll sign the church register. And then we'll go to the wedding cake. And then after that, we can get some dancing to welcome them. Yeah. So, just stand and show us <laughs> how you will take care, you take care of it. <laughs> with some holy kiss. Family to come to sign, and also um, 
a witness from local families can be signed. Bless you. So just hold the hand carefully and then sit down for a minute while the others come inside. Amen. Please come in the back for the uh, bride and, uh, and the groom. Just come inside, please. Amen. Just sit down for a minute. Representative of both families, want to sign? Come and sign, please. You're signing for the girl? Okay, continue. Okay. Please bring a cake for okay? You, 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 you,
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please feel free. Take one or so, one cup for two of you. It's a, it's a bread there and it's right on that. So do it carefully. Feel the first layer. Please, you have to do that. Come, any other person, please come for a place. Let's do this one time. No other person? Oh, man. You are blessed. Have your seat, please. Oh, Bring the page to two. Yes. Beautiful. 20 anniversary, so. If you are jealous, man, you are all white. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. in Jesus name Amen. that this cream you will hold and since then with those tender softness that it will be like this cream it will forever be like she will always smile she likes to smile she likes yeah. to pray <laughs> so please keep it for us Amen. and keep it for you too <laughs> and let this the doubleness of this cake the big one under and the small one on top <coughs> this is powerful that is how God will lift you. Amen. God will make you double, double, Amen. double, double, double all the time. God will these pillars, God has these pillars as the, the signify to hold this cake. And this is the pillar that leads you up to heaven. You know, you might be, when we live on earth, we believe that we, we have everything. But this cake, the little cake that's up, it signifies heaven. But the beauty lies right here. Amen. That is the beauty of heaven. Some of us, also, some of us don't, don't realize what heaven is because we've not been there. That about love and God. Love, L-O-V-E, a four-letter word. So, at the count of four, At the count of four, they will cut. Please, Uncle Francis and um, Auntie Zele, as she has said, show us that you'll be very accurate in all what you're doing. <laughs> One. No, I said. The, 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 the word love has is a four letter word. So at the count of four. Okay. One. One and a half. <laughs> Two. Three. Please be careful. <laughs> Three and a half. 
Three and three quarter. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. So, Auntie Zelda will now show us how she will feed her husband. <laughs> Not only in church, all over. So, Yes, show us how you're going to feed your husband. That was my No. Or you use a fork. After that, Uncle Francis too will show us how he will feed the wife. Uncle Francis, it's your turn. Hey. Ah, that is great. Hey. Ooh. Hey. 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 They have done it very well. So, 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 so. Please, I beg your pardon. I hope you are not bored. In Bakosi, that is how we express joy. Thank you very much.